What's cracking everybody, Zerf Elros here, bringing you some Pokemon Go Badly content. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Hoenn Cups and battles submitted to me by my buddy, the Terminal Sump, featuring Kecleon. We got a Sableye in the lead, Registeel, I imagine, probably the safe swap, maybe Kecleon is, I don't know. Uh, but Kecleon is an unusual um, specimen here in the Hoenn Cup, being extraordinarily hard to find, especially, I haven't seen a single one since it came out, and I've, I've got fair amount of poke stop so uh we're gonna take a look at these battles today to see just how the terminal sump decides to utilize his kecleon and then this, and the kecleon's got a very nice move set that actually reflects its um reflects its ability in the game where it can basically become most any type and what it has is got like foul play flamethrower it's got ice beam it's got thunderbolt it's got a bunch of different moves so the terminal sump has decided to go with flamethrower foul play on this particular kecleon and he starts off with the save line. looks like he's gonna play out the reggie steel lead gonna mirror shields here as well it looks like oh, adjust my music there i got bumped up for a little bit um and then the opponent's reggie steel are uh, the <laughs> Terminal Sump's Reggie Steel comes in, shields a Focus Blast. Now Terminal Sump is down zero shield, but hopefully going to be able to either get rid of the opponent's Reggie Steel to free up Kecleon, or the opponent is going to shield. And here comes a Deoxys. This is actually pretty bad news, to be honest. Um, so Deoxys usually packing Thunderbolt for this Reggie Steel matchup, also for the Metacham matchup as well. Definitely is packing Thunderbolt, which means it's going to be just about nigh impossible for the Terminal Sump's. Reggie Steel to take out this Deoxys before it gets to another Thunderbolt. So he's instead looking to quickly swap in to the Sableye, get, not get to a move in time. No, he's going to try to farm down here. He's going to soak the energy, which I think is just a fine play here. Thunderbolt doesn't do too much damage, so you're not really worried about it. So the uh, opponent is going to send in their Pelipper, and with shields down, Terminal Sump is going to go straight for the return and that is going to do a lot of damage to the Pelipper and going to get it real close to a, a honestly farm down range from Kecleon and I'm pretty sure that flamethrower is going to hurt so we'll see um you're definitely going to come in this is the right call here coming with the flamethrower coming with the Kecleon to go for the flamethrower and uh let's see if I can get my button up in time here I'm got it ready the uh the focus blast is going to hurt though yeah that claps the pants off of Kecleon but because the terminal sumps Reggie Steel is full of energy. He's going to be able to bring it in, and he's going to be able to clap the Reggie Steel right back into its pants. And that's basically a good game because Pelipper. No, Pelipper gets to a Weather Ball. Never mind. That is a good game, but not the way we thought it was. But wait, doesn't he still have the Sableye in the back? No, the Sableye is gone. Man, that's a good game. Very close. Well played. So coming into the next battle here, we've got Sableye on the lead versus Pelipper. So this is kind of a neutral matchup. Um,. You could, you could make a swap here at some point, maybe try to catch a move, but uh, looking to CMP tie the foul play on the opponent's Pelipper. The Pelipper goes for the Hurricane. That's huge for the Terminal Sump because he's going to be able to get this foul play off and easily outpace to another charge move because the opponent went for that full scent Hurricane. So foul play, going to easily be able to get some extra... Um, extra energy here and then the opponent's going to try to catch on a reggie steel which they successfully soaked the damage but to no real avail here because now the terminal sump is going to be able to get his reggie steel aligned to the opponent's pelipper and could just stay in this matchup to be honest it's really not that bad of a matchup for the sample but he catches oh goodness he caught the sap cannon on his own reggie steel what a chad and now he's going to be able to hopefully outpace this Focus Blast before the opponent can get to him. Nope. But this is worth the shield because all that energy is not going to go to waste at this point. He could certainly farm down. And Maggie is walking around with something in a plastic bag. You want to show everybody, huh? What you got there? You got a grape? Hi. Going for the Zap Cannon. I'm assuming the Pelipper probably came back in. What are you doing? Is it time to come up here now? All right, just don't turn off my computer before we finish, all right? So Pelipper is going to get to that Weather Ball, just like last time. Unfortunately, I think this means that the Kecleon is now going to be able to come in. So fortunately, that means that it's going to be able to soak this Weather Ball, because I assume it's not going to get to a hurricane here. So Weather Ball is going to come through. Kecleon's actually not too bad. Like, it's got a surprisingly decent amount of bulk. Uh, I'm going to have to see what's in the back, though, for this opponent, because the uh, opponent has a Reggie Rock. Okay, that's not terrible. You definitely don't want to throw flamethrower here because it's resisted. Um, so foul play, I mean, Kecleon is, it doesn't exactly have the best stat product, but it's also not the worst. It's got, it's got a fair amount of bulk to it. What do you have? 
Ah, hit me in the face. Don't you get mad at me. What? What did I do? You shouldn't eat stuff then. And then the Sableye is going to come in and be able to get to a foul play just in time before the opponent's going to be able to get to their Stone Edge. That's going to take out the Reggie Rock and the Reggie and the Pelipper is going to go down and I can't speak and that's all right. That's a good game. Well played. All right. Next battle we're going to have here is Sableye against another Reggie Steel. And I found there's literally like four leads in the entire Hoenn Cup, right? It's Reggie Steel, Sableye, Altaria, and Metacham. Those are really the only four Pokemon you're ever going to see in this cup. So, um, unfortunately, there's not really anything that seems to break all of those. But it uh, looks like we have a calendar meeting coming up. We've got to make sure we're out of time for that. Why are you slapping my desk with a grip? <coughs> you have any idea? Ow. Okay, now you're just being violent. Okay, we're going to counter swap in after that. We're going to save swap in the Kecleon. I wonder if the Kecleon then is the save swap here. I don't know. Either one works, to be honest. But the Flamethrower, <laughs> look at how much damage the Flamethrower And his opponent has a Sableye. Dude, the Sableye is just going to get... He doesn't even shield it. Does he know? It's a foul... Well, I guess it's a Shadow Sableye. It's not going to get to a return because it can't have it. Um, Power Gem, probably not the move to throw there either. But Kecleon is going to be able to get that f nice farm down here. And I think that maybe you should go for the flamethrower. I think you still get a shield. Maybe the opponent just doesn't know the counts. No, they don't shield it anyway. Then we're going to get to a move. All right, what's the opponent got in the back? They have a wall ring, and uh, Terminal Sump has a, has a Reggie Steel with Zap Cannon and is able to fire off a charge move here. Going to be able to easily get to enough moves, especially up a shield with the Reggie Steel. You could probably even call a bait here if you wanted to. I think that would be the thing to do. Now, I'm going to go ahead and throw, force the opponent to throw the energy by bringing in the Sableye, which is a very smart play. And then he's going to come in with that Reggie Steel and look to get that Focus Blast, Zap Cannon, what have you. Uh, you'd probably just no-shield this, to be honest. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I would do, because the opponent basically has to bait. Call the bait is important, but he goes for the Zap Cannon. You just dropped your grape, and there's nothing you're going to do about it. What? What are you going to do? You gonna go get it? All right. She's just very insistent on going to get it. Okay. And we'll get you great. Don't touch my computer, you shiny red button. I gotta get it. All right. Walrein is about to catch these hands. There's no way. And now the ice school spear bait comes through. It doesn't matter. You're trying to grab anything you can. You just whatever you can find. Whatever you can find. Anyway, <laughs> claps the Walrein, and that's going to be a good game. Well played. So now we've got a spicy lead. Zangoose coming in on the opponent's side, and actually a very good counter to this Sableye. That Night Slash is not going to feel good. I wish you would stop taking things off my computer, you doofus. Foul Play is going to be able to do quite a bit of damage. Zangoose is fairly squishy, though, and it does, it does grab a shield. So t Ser Terminal Sump is up a shield, but look how much damage those Shadow Claws are doing to the Sableye. And you really can't bring in either Pokemon in the back because you've got something... They're both weak to close combat. So you're just asking for it at that point. So looking like Sableye is not going to be able to do anything at this point other than get farmed down. So Terminal Sump makes the correct call and swapping it out to prevent the opponent from getting any extra energy. And then the close combat is going to come through and the opponent decides to full send it. And now with no shields, this poor Cacleon is about to get blown off the face of the earth. No, it's a Night Slash! That wasn't a close combat! Oh, Zangus, you fool! You go for the close combat! Takes it out, and here is a Metacham that is perfectly designed to counter the rest of this. This is not good. Stay hydrated, folks. This is not good. So Power Up Punch is going to come through. Does not allow the Kecleon to get to another move. Sableye is going to come in. Not going to be able to get to the foul play here because there are no shields left in play. This Reggie Steel is going to have to get a move off and then some in order to take out this Metacham. And Terminal Sump knows it. He concedes the match, and that is a good game. All right, we got Sableye on Sableye. Got a mirror lead. Both purified Sableyes. The opponent has a best buddy Sableye, so they've got the, uh, got the edge here. Maybe. I don't know. Depends on the IVs. So Sableye Mirror, Foul Play, you're going to go for one. You can save the shield. Essentially, whoever doesn't shield loses the matchup, but that basically comes down to CMP. And the Terminal Sump is going to throw in his Kecleon here to try and force the opponent to swap out, but they decide to stay in and toss the energy, perhaps not having a solid answer. Not having a solid answer. And the Oh, no, do they know? I don't think they know. Is this a flamethrower? Are they going to shield it? Nope, they get rid of that Maul Isle almost entirely. 
And the opponent is going to throw a move. And now Kecleon has done its job. Reggie Steel is going to come in and get a farm down. We're going to see what the opponent's got in the back. And it's probably not much that can handle Registeel with two shields, except for something like Metacham. Sableye is going to come in here, and now we're going to see Terminal Sump try to go for that Zap Cannon, but unfortunately, the Sableye does outpace, is going to be able to knock a foul play off of this Registeel, and over farming by just a bit, trying to get a catch, or trying to catch a catch, I should say, um, trying to get the opponent make sure that they don't catch on the Registeel. Their last shield is going to go up, and now the opponent is going to try to send off a foul play to take out some more of the HP of this Registeel, but unfortunately, they are not going to be able to get to a full two moves before a Terminal Sump is able to throw a Resisted Focus Blast and hope to get some extra farm, but does not. Guard of War comes in, and Guard of War is not going to be able to charm down before the Zap Cannon takes it out. And you know what? I was using Shadow Guard of War this week. It's good, but I love to see this. There it goes. Takes it out. Well played. And speaking of Gardevoir, we've got a lead Gardevoir, so we're going to have to see Kecleon. I bet Kecleon is really good in this matchup because of those licks. Oh my god, look at it. It's going... This is a confusion, Gardevoir. This is not what we signed up for. And here we've got a Deoxys coming in. We've got Deoxys coming in to get the foul plays eaten by the Kecleon. You guys are having so much fun over there. Look at you. <laughs> and then the Gardevoir is going to come back in, and this is going to get licked. It's getting licked into oblivion, dude. Look at that thing. It's gone. Just one, literally one Shadow Claw would take it out. But Terminal Sump very smartly comes in and takes, uh, is going to come in with the uh, Registeel here, even though I can't speak. And he's going to farm down with his Registeel, which is very, very valuable energy. A Sableye is going to come in, and that is the last Pokemon alive, so these Zap Cannons are going to be great things to throw. Don't look at me like you want to be over here. You had your chance. If you want to come over here, come over here. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh, that was it. All right. Well, I completely missed the end of that game, but that's Maggie's too cute. Anyway, we've got a Swampert lead, and I'm not even going to hit the transition. It's, fine. it's just hanging with Mommy over there, having a great time. You're not here for Pokemon Go battles. You're here to see that. I understand. So, Sableye's going to come into this game, or Sableye's staying in this matchup with the Swampert. Obviously, once again, one of those matchups where you just can't really swap in anything because you don't want to risk getting the Swampert aligned to the Registeel. So, the Swampert is going to have to go down an extra shield in order to make this matchup work, just because of how it works. Uh, and that foul play is going to come through, so that is going to allow the Sableye to shield up, and he's going to go for it. Gonna try and get that foul playoff. The opponent was not at a third move or a fourth move. Yeah, I guess it would be a fourth move at that at that rate. So able to take out the Swampert, freeing up Reggie Steel in the back. I bet you they've probably got Altaria and probably something else. That there's the wall rain. So the opponent is not going to appreciate this Reggie Steel coming in to ruin their entire day. And I would bet there's probably something else back there that's weak to Registeel because typically when you have a team built, you're going to put something in the lead that is strong towards certain types, and then you're going to put two things in the back that cover the typings that the lead is weak to, but however, typically are weak to the things that the lead is strong to. If that made any sense to you, if not, that's okay because I don't make sense to myself half the time. But... We are going to see Kecleon counter swap to Sableye, which is likely back there as a safe swap or a pivot. Which means that now the Registeel is in a perfect position to just farm down the Sableye and Zap Cannon the pants <laughs> off of that wall rain. And that is basically a good game. Uh, however, the Terminal Sump does decide to go for a nice charged Focus Blast. Is going to take out the Sableye. Is he going to be able to get to a move before the wall rain? Yes, he is. Focus Blast coming through. About to disintegrate this wall rain. Goodbye, Walrus. And that's a good game. Well played. So we've got here a Shadow Swampert lead. Very similar to the last lead. However, I think the shields are going to have to be a little bit more sparingly used here. And by that, I mean you shield everything because it'll basically one-shot your Sableye if you let it go. Oh, he's going to let it go, the Madman. All right, We're, we got a game here, folks. We've got Hydro Cannon coming through, taking out most of the HP off the Sableye. And now Sableye is easily going to be able to get two shields, but the opponent brings in their uh, Sableye, and 
the terminal sump answers with his Sableye response in the Kecleon, which is huge because you assume, once again, the opponent's got a Swampert in the lead. They've probably got something in the back to cover that grass or that Altaria weakness, right? Maybe the Altaria itself could be back there. God, you're adorable. I don't know if y'all can hear from the mic. I think you can hear it. That's so cute. The, the baby laugh is just so cute. So, Foul Play is going to be finishing off the Sableye here, unless the opponent decides to invest Shield, which I doubt they do. And now, the Kecleon has a good amount of HP left with which to do some good damage to the Swampert if it decides to come back in, which it does. Those Licks do add up fairly quickly. The opponent is going to have to throw energy pretty fast in order to get rid of this Kecleon without it causing too much damage. So, that means Sableye is going to be able to come back in, get to a move, and the opponent swaps an Atropius, and there it is, folks. There's the anti-grass, although this whole team kind of loots to Altaria, which is really interesting. Um, but in any case, typically Swampert is paired with Flyers. Makes sense. The opponent is deciding to stay in and play this out for some strange reason. I don't know how they think that this is going to go. I'm pretty sure that the uh, Reggie Steel just completely destroys the opponent from this point on, but we'll see what happens, folks. There we have another Leaf Blade coming through. It looks like we're just going to farm down the entire Tropius. One more charge move is going to come through. This Leaf Blade is going to do absolutely no damage. And the Swampert's going to come in to try and snipe the last shield off the Reggie Steel. The Reggie Steel is going to have to give up that shield. And now it's going to be up to the Terminal Sump to try and catch the charge move on his Sableye. Unless he's got energy on the Sableye which I don't remember if he does or not, but we're going to find out because he's not going to catch. Oh, he fails the catch. Quite unfortunate, really, but that's it. That's okay. You can't remember the energy all the time, but that's going to be a good game here. Unfortunately, Sableye will get farmed down, and that is a good game. Very well played. We've got a Sableye versus Registeel on the lead here. Once again, we're probably going to see... Nope, the rate... The, <laughs> the Registeel just decides to straight swap out, which means that the Terminal Sump is going to put in his Kecleon to combat the Sableye that is swapped in. And no, the Sableye does do a fair amount of damage with the uh, Foul Plays. Those Shadow Claws are still double resisted, which means that Kecleon typically will be able to win this matchup as long as the Sableye lets one charge move go. Now the Kecleon can easily shield once, farm down, throw a flamethrower at the opponent's Registeel. I don't know if he's counting or if that opponent was actually at a move. I actually am not counting myself. They were definitely in a move, which makes complete sense as to why he let that foul play through. The foul play will come through, and the reason why this is okay is because there's really no bad matchups here with the uh, with the Reggie Steel in the back. So Reggie Steel is going to come in and is going to be up just a little bit of energy because remember the opponent swapped out immediately, so this Reggie Steel is ready to go. Reginald Steel coming through with a focus blast gets the shield and now is just needing to get to another focus blast or two. Could easily mirror shields here if you wanted to, but the opponent does go for a zap cannon to try and lower the attack and succeeds in doing so. And unfortunately, that means that the Terminal Sumps Reggie Steel is going to be a little bit more of a wet noodle than we'd like to see. But this gives Red, uh, this gives the Sableye an opportunity to farm down, which is fan. Fantastic. So now the Focus Blast comes through, and the opponent has to let their Registeel get farmed down or swap in their Altaria. You know what happens when you come up with an Altaria? They get absolutely clapped by foul plays. No. Mags, 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 honey. Hey, stop taking all the shower equipment. Hey. Hey. You can brush the dog later. He's trying to sleep. Y'all know what was going to happen. I didn't need to be here. Y'all know. The child's cute anyway. Sorry. Goodness gracious. That's going to be a good game. They're very well played to both players. So, next game. Here we've got another Sableye lead. Mirror lead here. So we're going to see... Now the Terminal Sump is going to decide to instantly swap in his Kecleon. And the opponent is staying in to do some chip damage. Again, they probably don't have a solid answer for this Kecleon. Which means that they're going to stay in. Maybe they have a better answer in the back for Sableye. Maybe, you know what, I, I, I bet my pants that they have a Gardevoir in the back, now that I think about it. And they're trying to get the alignment, that's why they're shielding. So, I'm going to expect that now, going forward in this battle. So we're going to see the foul play come through and get a shield off the Terminal Sump, and the opponent is not going to be able to get to another move before the Terminal Sump gets to his own foul play. Why are you eating cords off my computer, child? 
crazy. You, you look dangerous with that brush, you know that? Oh, Altari and Already Steel, you love to see it. I don't think there's anything much more to go by here. I think that that Altaria coming in pretty much seals it. She's dangerous, I'm telling you. Ever since she picked up that knife, she's been dangerous. Right for the power button, you little butthead. Hey, we'll do it. I don't need to shout cast this matchup. It's just Reggie Steel and Altaria. There's nothing interesting about this. Look, boom, there goes the nap cannon into the Altaria. I wonder how that happened. All right, here comes our. Oh, man, there's Reggie Steel. Now we're getting spicy. Oh, man, I've never seen this matchup before. Gonna be able to go for. That's a flash cannon, is it not? Don't know, but the ray. Yeah, it's a focus blast. Must have been in here earlier. I'm not paying attention because Maggie's trying to terrorize my computer. So focus blast is gonna come through. Is gonna get the shield from the Reggie Steel, and then Sableye probably looking pretty good to finish up this game here. Gonna catch a focus blast potentially, but no, the opponent looks to also catch a focus blast, which means that the Reggie Steel is gonna get clapped by the foul play and the focus blast that is coming its way. Maggie, we done. Zap Cannon is going to come through. I think the Sableye just finishes this up, to be honest. I think the Sableye is just going to go for this foul play. And the opponent is not... Well, actually, no, they do have to farm down. And they could actually launch a Focus Blast. Into the Reggie Steel. Oh, never mind. It's good. We're done. That's it. All right, well, look. <laughs> Some exciting battles featuring Kecleon. Once again, thank you to the Terminal Sump for the battle submission. Those are some exciting battles with this new Chameleon Ingo Battle League. Thank you again for sharing the battles. And dear trainers, if you would like to share some battles to submit to this channel, you can do so by submitting them to the link. I got I got to keep my eye out, man. She's she's right there. Um, you can send them to the link in the description. There's a form that you can fill out, and um, that's going to be it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. We'll catch you probably next season, because the next video that comes out is probably going to be the uh, the next season news. So with that being said, that's going to be it for us today, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.